So, f x into differentiation of g x d x degradation is given by degradation of d x minus g of x into derivative of f of x d x. Okay. Now, let us assume f of x as u and derivative of g x of x as v. So, this becomes u v to d x and this becomes f x as u and g x is integration of v d x to d x. Right? And this g x can be written as integration of v d x into into what d u by d x d x okay Okay. Now, this case, so this formula has been proved. Now, one thing you should note here is that if you are given a product of functions, how do you select which is the first fun function and which is the second function? So, let us now discuss the rules or the general methodology we follow to define which is the first function, which is the second function. Now, let us see what are the selection rules. Now, these rules are not very obvious like uh, you need not always follow this, but there are some tricks which will make your integration simpler. The first rule which we follow is that if let us say you have two functions, first and second, this product you are trying to integrate. Now, the first rule is that if one of the function is directly not integrable, then we take it as the first function. Let us say out of 1 and 2, the 2 is not directly integrable, then I will take 2 as u as the first function and 1 as the second function. The reason being that when you integrate u v dx, formula is see in, in this formula you are required to integrate v twice so if obviously v is directly not integrable then we take that function as the first function so in this case if 2 is not directly integrable we take it as the first function so that we are not required to integrate that function. An example could be let us say we are asked to integrate x tan inverse x. Now, here you can see that you can integrate x, you know that if you integrate x you will get x square plus x square by 2 plus c, but tan inverse x is directly not integrable. So, which is not integrable we take it as the first function. So, my first function is tan inverse x, I will take it as u and x I will take it as v. Now, if I integrate this, I will get u into integration of v minus derivative of the first function, so 1 plus x square into integration of the second function. Okay.
this is x square by 2. Now, I am required to integrate this dx. This I can integrate by writing this as x square plus 1 minus 1. So, this gets simplified as let us now focus on this part, right? This part x square by x square plus 1, I have to integrate. So, I wrote it as plus 1 minus 1. So, I can write it as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 1 plus x square, right? So, integration of this is x, integration of this is tan inverse x. So, this comes out to be integration of this comes out to be x minus tan inverse x. So, my final answer is x square by 2 tan inverse x minus half of x minus tan inverse x plus a constant c. So, you see that my task becomes simpler because I took x as my second function which was easily integrable. If I had taken tan inverse x, x my mm, second function, then I would have landed up as x integration of tan inverse x dx minus 1 the derivative of x into integration of tan inverse x. From here, I have no clue how to proceed with this question. So, it is very important which function you select as a first function and which function you select as the second function.